Welcome to this video. Continuation of the former video. Possibly relevant observations. 1. 6,000 early human fossils. More than 6,000 early human fossils have been found. 2. Jebel Irhoud 5 fossils older than ancestral Eve and not African? At least 5 fossils roughly 300,000 years old have been found, and this only in Jebel Irhoud, Morocco and Africa, apparently their DNA could not be analyzed. This find could turn out to be very much in favor of consensus, but in my opinion and for now this find is rather in disfavor of consensus because these are not found in the claimed places, and are in fact too old to be carriers of mtDNA L. In my opinion this finding fits better in a hypothesis for the ancestor of all humans to come out of the Americas, than to come out of Africa. The justification for this hypothesis of mine, out of America, can be found in other videos. In my opinion these Jebel Irhoud fossils are the result of a wave of out of America, for now I can say that their location and that of other fossils and actual DNA indicates this hypothesis. I hypothesize that this wave is similar to the Neanderthal waves, haplotype B006, and once that fossil DNA will be found and the haplotype concluded, it will possibly fit in this haplotype. I further hypothesize that earlier Neanderthal waves are not much different from later Austronesian-like waves, and similar to the later Austronesian expansion wave. The difference between the Neanderthal and the similar Jebel Irhoud wave on one hand and all other waves on the other hand, is that most probably their waves came to Africa exclusively through Atlantic routes and gyres, obviously with advanced boats and navigation. It could be important to observe that Neanderthal fossils and even more clearly the Jebel Irhoud are found in actual mines. This suggests two things that could be of importance. 1. Neanderthals and even more clearly the Jebel Irhoud species or group were involved in mining. 2. Mines preserved significantly better their fossils compared to all other places where they once were present. 3. Actual mines are actually mined and exposed mores dug in fossils. If caves are involved in mining the same goes up for caves. 4. The mining was dangerous and led to accidents or the fossils when alive were killed because of something related to mining or the mines themselves. Killing by burying alive or while fighting for the mines or caves is one of the possibilities. I justify some of the above hypotheses because I do not see sufficient evidence for such an explicit difference in preservation that could explain the extreme difference between 1. Finds near or in mines and 2. Finds not near mines. A similar pattern can be seen in locations that were used and occupied and consequently had importance to humans that died or were killed, extinct, occupied at what is seen as the Younger Dryas event. The fossils Jebel Irhoud fossils are of a period that overlaps with the Neanderthal period, except the humans found in Jebel Irhoud are not Neanderthals or a variation of Neanderthals, after all Neanderthals are not a well-defined group but perhaps rather a period. Paradigm in disfavor of consensus. What I call consensus is mainly 1. The hypothesis that Africans are the ancestors of all modern humans. 2. Making the distinction, only, between modern humans and humans. Further there is this serious paradigm in disfavor of the hypothesis that Africans are the ancestors of all humans. The fact that Africans are the ones that carry the least Neanderthal DNA of all humans that the African DNA is supposed to have been the ancestor of. Why I consider this paradigm very much in disfavor of consensus is explained in detail in other videos. What I can say for now is that African DNA could not have acquired the lacking Neanderthal DNA and there are many indications and even proofs that the by me called actual humans or the by consensus so-called modern humans could not and did not acquire the supposed Neanderthal DNA through interbreeding with Neanderthals. The factor of Neanderthal DNA being favorable or disfavorable for a group is not at all the reason I classify it very much in disfavor of consensus. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.